Recently it showed in the newspapers how the Swiss Nazi people are spreading fear for other races and other people, spreading hatred and ethnophobia by integrating the Native American First Nations into their Swiss racist hate campaigns by depicting caricatures of stereotype Indians with degrading texts like the Indians couldn't stop the immigration. Today they live in reserves. Now wait a minute. Weren't the immigrants the Swiss themselves with currently one million Swiss Americans in the USA? With Swiss General Custer called the Squaw Killer and Swissy himself squeezing the First Nations into reserves? This is what a bunch of evil liars the Swiss are, twisting the th truth for our eyes, being the disinfo agents, just as Swissy disinfo and their evil Nazi tongues spread their neutrality swindle and that nobody got hurt in the concentration camps with Swissy lie that gas chambers never existed in the extermination camps. And as usual, Swissy initiates the lie. Then Austrian and German Nazis copycat, as doing so with this scandalous anti-Native American propaganda, with Swissy perpetrator as usual and always slipping into the victim's role after. While it was them in the first place, chasing and terrorizing the Indians. Oh, what a bunch of dumb liars. This is the sick Swiss direct democracy, or should I say direct idiocracy. You can see it. the internet is full of it, you know, if you put this sentence here, die Indianer konnten die Einwanderung nicht stoppen, heute leben sie in Reservaten. Eh? The Indians couldn't stop the immigration, so today they live in reserves. So if, they, if you punch this in the internet, it, it pops out, you know, page after page after page. And this is by the Swiss Nazis, initiated by the Swiss Nazis, taken over by the German and the Austrian Nazis. And nobody does a thing against it, you know, they just go on and go on and go on. Just stalling time, lying to uh, other countries and say, yeah, we Swiss are neutral. Yes, we Swiss authorities, we do something against it. And no, they're never going to do something against it. And it goes on and it goes on, you know. It's like, a, um, it's like an avalanche, you know. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Stop the Swiss Nazi people. So you can read the entire article. Excuse Google for the translation, but at least it's something. So here in the beginning... Uh, you can uh, you can read it. You know the Indians, the Indians couldn't stop the immigration. Today they live in reserves, <laughs> and the immigration <laughs> that was the Swiss and the Germans and the Austrians, who are now using it. You know, this is idiot Nazi idiocracy. The Nazis have always been a bunch of liars, and it's all initiated from Switzerland which it even says here in the article as well you know um, yeah, I'll look it up for you so now you can see that in the article they're doing it all the Swiss started and now they're doing it everywhere in Tessin in Lugano they're doing it in uh, here the German speaking countries everywhere a right wing Nationalist, uh, Austrian Freedom Party, FPÖ, NPD. The Swiss started, it's the same with those, you know, white black sheep being kicked by, uh, by three white sheep. And it's been taken over all over, into Russia, everywhere. And nobody's doing a thing, you know. It says it's great as well, you know. And... Um, uh, 
It says one more time here by the NPD, we know that the Indian people couldn't stop the immigrants. <laughs> well, the immigrants were Germans. Uh, it, it was them, it was the NPD. Uh, now they live in reserv well, reserves, they mean res reservations. Well, it's a Google translation. We know that the Indian people couldn't stop the immigrants, now they live in reserves. That's the text we just saw with the um, with the stereotype um, Indian you know so that before you know they, they kill the Indians and now they use the Indians for their own I don't know what you know this is very dangerous and it, it, it always comes from Switzerland every time they started they finance Hitler and the others follow up and copycat the Nazi stuff and then we we have to pay for it eh? yeah, I put this in the uh, in the Google translator <laughs> that's fabulous even the Swiss Patriots fascists and Nazis I can run through the Google translator you see the Swiss cross here it says Patriot with a pyramid you know here Swiss cross why well, all the their coats of arms, you know, of the Swiss mercenaries. It says the Indians couldn't stop the immigrants. They now live in reserves. Um, it's all over. Now they, now, yeah, there they come again, all the Indians. Yeah, Patriots, Swiss Patriots. You can buy a pin, you know, S stick it on your breast. The Swiss flowers, the uh, as the Nazis used. Well, oh, isn't it charming? It's all over. The Nazis are using the Indians. You know, the Indians are all wasted. You know, they're like gone. And now that the white, the whiteies, they call themselves. Look at them. They replaced the Indians. So now they call them the white Indians. The Swiss are the white Indians. Well, what do you know? <laughs> they feel. They they feel themselves as white Indians. Well, well, I told you about the you know how they do it with the white nigger. Excuse my expression. You know they they uh, as they did with the um, uh, the uh, Korean uh, dictator. You know he's a Swiss inside eating cheese, and uh, outside he's Korean. You know uh, he's a, he's a white Korean, and they do the same with Africans and. Uh, no, well, now I just saw it. they do it with Indians too, white Indians. The Chinese call them bananas, you know, white inside and yellow outside. Oh man, it is, it is, it's disgusting, really. I mean, take care, folks. It's, it's, nobody's doing something. Be aware, my Indian brothers, my Native American brothers, they, they even, the Swissy even has a, uh, a website called White Indians. They've replaced you. They are amongst you, like everywhere else. It says CH, this is in Switzerland. CH means Confederatia Helvetia. It's, it's, it's Swiss. There's even an address. I, I didn't show it now, but uh, there's everything. An address, a telephone number. Be aware, my Native American brothers. Homitakuyasim.